So here we have stainless steel material, eight millimeter thick with a mill scale. And actually then it's an old skeleton uh, with some laser cut, which also has a amount of dross on the bottom. And we will process this right here in Jacob's demo room on a G13, actually a G135 uh, RXR. And why is it an RXR? Because it has on the first head is a white belt sanding head. 53 inch wide. Then it has the new X group. We will change the blocks. Right now it has de slagging heads in there. We will change that to regular um, abrasive slash Scotch Bright edge rounding heads. And then it has the last head to do the finish to get out the cross edge from the edge rounding. So this is deburring and pre draining. This is edge rounding and this is finishing then afterwards which could also be done with a hard scotch brine. These are the new heads which have 88 uh, inches of belt length, 2200 millimeter and the new um, 20 head X cross belts for uh, uh, top brushes for more edge rounding and uh, more consistency. So here you will see these brushes which we will exchange and it goes very quickly and we'll demonstrate that as well. So, and now we are changing the heads. On the other side. On the other side. Ah. Because there is yeah. one. Right. Close right and another side. Oh, so you need to go one this way and one that way. Okay. Yeah. You go to the other side. Okay. an 80 grit cubitron which we will put on the first head and then we will put a much finer grid on the second head for the finish.
this paper was used for some deslagging tests, so obviously it had a few grooves in it for the free graining, but I think it'll, for the purpose of what we are trying to demonstrate here, this will be fine. Ultimately, we're going to have to do two passes anyway. One pass for the air grounding, and then we need to see how straight our grain is, and then we're going to have to do one pass for the graining for the straight line. So now we are going to run an actual piece. We did a uh, test piece before, which we had some pretty good results with, where we ran one side, just the first coarse belt, which we have an 80 grit to remove grass and free grain and the uh, edge rounding brushes. And then the other one, we just ran the edge rounding brushes and the final brushes, and you see the finish here, nice and straight, good, even at low speeds. The trick is that with this machine, we are capable to determine our belt speed, so we don't have to run 12 meters uh, um, a second we can run way lower speed. So on the first belt, we are running lower. So we're going to do the same test here. We have this 10 millimeter material or a little bit over three eighths. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to put in the material thickness at 10. And then we are going to hit the start button. And that turns everything on. And only when everything is turned on does the blinking light start blinking. out the back. So this is a mill skate part. This is exactly what I wanted to see. But with the first belt we didn't remove enough of the mill scale. So what we need to do is this part here has automatic thickness setting. We are and the belt is actually one millimeter thick but I set it to 1.3 because it was grinding a little bit too hard. So I'm going to bring that back to 1.1 and then also we are going to bring the belt speed up to 8 meters. So now we need to hit this button again to make the changes. Now you hear how it speeds up. We have removed most of the mill scale and at 
at the same time, we still see the process from the round brush. That we are going to remove by very simply now turning on the last part so that you see more of a finish. Um, the material thickness is essentially the same, it's three tenths less. So all we did is not, I'm going to pick a new part on the machine so that I have a fresh piece of belt. Um, all I did is I brought the material thickness to 9.7 because it's three tenths smaller, right? And actually we sp sped up a little bit of the finishing belt in the back to get a little bit more there. Again. We just hit the starting button, everything starts up. You can leave the part on there, that's perfectly fine because the conveyor belt doesn't move until everything is ready to run. There we go. And the part So now we will hear a longer stretch of grinding. They open up the machine.
when you do the thick material that you want to do. Now with the second pass it's a little bit warmer. You probably want to have gloves, but it is not too warm. So now we can stop the machine. No wave lines, the new surface totally taking out. This is a very warm part right now. So here's a warning that I have for you. If you are going to run 3 8 and half inch material in stainless with a mill scale, the material may not, especially if you want to run larger pieces, the material most likely is not going to lay flat. And this is going to be a problem in the sense that you will have tops and valleys in your material and you'll grind hard on the tops and you'll grind too little on the valleys. And this is if you really need to do large sheets in half inch stainless or even three eighths or quarter inch, then you need to do what Wenger does on their Kuhlmeier, where you use a Kuhlmeier to surface grain whole plate and then cut it or you can cut the larger pieces and then also grain it with a kumai with an auto tool and an auto table. Um, but these white belt sanders really require very flat material surface in order to get a result. And I will demonstrate that now with this piece where we have some burr and we will run it with the burr side up. And for that, I need to turn the camera off. I need to get the part on the machine and go from there. So here we go with this part. Then we have the door side up. And then we need to go and see how it goes. What I did do in order to have a little bit less temperature, I sped it up. I don't know, this part is a little bit heavy to sit back home. Second half and maybe even a third part. 